Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I am here with Spirit as always to bring you light, love, and clarity from the divine. So please take these messages that are meant for your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. Good morning, Kiwi. Thank you for joining. All right, we're going to use the Soul Helper, and this is to help us through this full moon phase. What is hidden, what needs to be released, and how we can move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit. Here we go. Re-energize in the natural world. Okay, so this is where you have to let your inner huntress take a rest. All right, during this full moon, the important parts of the energy is to release those negative things that are keeping you from moving in the direction to which you seek right? And in order to do that, we need to replenish. So spirit is asking you to refuel at this time, right? This is a card number one, and one always signifies the new beginning, the new opportunity, right? So it's just like before you get ready to travel, you want to fill up your tank, right? So that you have plenty of fuel on your journey, so this is just a quick reminder that allow these emotions to be released, acknowledge them, accept them, and then move through them. In other words, we're not going to hang on to them. What we're doing is we're accepting any of our responsibilities that we have, anything from the past that no longer serves us, so that we can brush that off and start with a clean slate. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the Akashic Records today, all right? Because Spirit is trying to get a message across to you that according to your beliefs, you will reach that level of which you believe. Understand? So that means you have to start reminding yourself every day that you have the power within you and only you possess this power. Okay, so in other words, say to yourself, what I envision for myself becomes my reality. Kiwi, we're going to need the space. Can you scooch? Thank you. All right, very good. So let's go ahead into the Akashic Records and see past, present, future. What is the forecast for Pisces for November as we are leaving October and this full moon energy. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> wow. For birth, right? So this is why. This is why we're refueling. Because we're getting ready to travel to do something different. All right? And this is a major arcana card in the Akashic Records. This is a new start. It is a new beginning. So what's happening here is... Like any new beginning, there will be labor involved, okay? But it's good growth on the horizon. Look at how happy this is. These are children. This is a new beginning. Some of you may be actually getting a new pet, a new dog. But something is going on where you're going to have a rebirth. Excuse me. Thank you so much. All right. Here. We have the willow, the two of forces, okay? So this is you being strong being flexible, okay? There's something here about standing up to anything in um, a place of calmness. So as the winds and the forces come around, right? You're this willow. You shine your beauty always. You sway in the wind. In other words, you are flexible so that you can see um, a new perspective on things. You can become more objective, because the two of forces is where it is a time of power, right? It is a time where you believe in yourself. This here, the emotions, the stream here, right, is in front of you. But you stand your ground. This, these emotions are what bring your roots into grounding. In other words, you acknowledge all of your feelings through this process. Because they are a part of you, but they don't rule you, right? It is a part of your nutrient, but you still need the sun. You still need the soil. 
So there's something more about the two of forces where you, you are not only strong, but you are flexible. Keep that in mind. Yeah, here you are, the Queen of Roses. Nice. Okay. The Queen of Roses, again, is about your heart chakra. This involves your family, relationships, your devotion to yourself, right? Making a commitment. And here, as the Queen, you're making a loving connection between your inner beauty and how you present yourself outside in the world, right? In your friendships, in your relationships something more. There may also be where you make an offer or somebody's going to make an offering to you, okay, where you can um, maybe become a better mom, a better lover, a better friend, but it's because you have found the deeper meaning of the existence of love in relationships, okay, and you're carrying that connection, with love, purity, and healing. So this is like removing all conflicts. All right, now we have the Four of Roses, Views of the Ego, and this came upside down. So what this is telling me is you are understanding now that you are no longer being self-centered, right? And, and again, that's no shame here because we all live in this human body, right? With a human mind. And yet our spiritual self is where we recognize different traits that shows us, you know, are we caring for ourselves and caring for others? Or are we just so self-absorbed, right? All about me, me, me. There is a difference, a fine line between filling your cup and ignoring the gift that you have that you can use to help others, right? So when the view of the ego is upside down, you are recognizing all the many facets that you have within your, par your, your personal characteristics. And so you know when you need to use them, right? When you need to be strong, when you need to be calm, when you need to show um, love, compassion, empathy, kindness, right? Or when you need to stand your ground because others are not seeing you the way you want to um, be acknowledged and respected. Okay, here we have reflection. Again, <clears throat> this here reflection card also came upside down. And reflection is another major arcana. So this is about being aware of your emotions. You see here with the full moon, this is you allowing those emotions and staying calm within them. But when it's upside down, there's something that you're not seeing, okay? So there's something hidden. And what's going to happen is as you move through this, you will understand that through the calmness, comes clarity, right? So let's say if you have a moment of um, anxiety, fear, or depression, right? Do you want to stay in that mindset? No, because that does not serve you. But you still have to identify where is it coming from? Where is it something from the past that you need to release? Because what happened in the past it's done. It's over with, right? Is there any more harm coming from that? No. The only harm is what you're telling yourself and, and how you're beating yourself up over maybe past mistakes or things that people have done to you. But that's done. That's over with, right? So it's time to set sail on the new you, what you envision for yourself. So that becomes your new reality. All right. Here we have the seven of keys. Again, you are going to be able to ascent. The keys is about your value, self-worth, right? Your success, the authority over yourself to climb the mountain that's in front of you, right? Now, God and your angels are supporting you on this journey. In other words, we never accomplish anything in this life without their assistance. Know that. But they are saying to you, you have the strength 
to move forward, to move up the ladder, right? There is possibility and power and security in this manifestation. So what's happening here in the Seven of Keys is that you are going to start admiring all of your achievements, right? Every little win gets you closer to the big jackpot. Okay, I'm seeing something here where your great effort and determination will help you attain your goals. So carry all of those tools with you, right? This is not just the rope, not just the, the um, gosh, what is that thing called? It's like a, it's almost like an ice pick, right? So I'm not seeing that you have to claw your way to the top. I'm seeing you carefully understanding each step as you move up, okay, this mountain, so that you can reach the top. And this is so you are always safe and secure in this endeavor, right? But you're seeing the view now. You're seeing the bigger picture. Let's keep going. All right, here we have the sands of time. This is about you rolling up your sleeves, doing the work. Yes, you probably put a lot of work in. You have a lot of plans. And again, Pisces, you know, with that creative mind and that daydream set of uh, being, right? We can imagine so many different things. But now it's time to choose one. Choose that one thing that you want to accomplish, right? Because the time is now. This is the hourglass that's showing me that there's no more time to procrastinate, that it's time to roll up your sleeves and get to work, focusing on that one idea. There is a book in the background which is showing me that there is going to be more um, details, more information that's going to be required of you, right? So it could include research. It could just be um, books, literature, going to the library, right? There's nobody here, but this is where you've decided to be focusing on the pillar of what your deepest desire is and focusing on that. The three candles here that are lit, body, mind, soul. This is representation of this is what is inspiring you and this is what's going to move you forward. The six of scrolls, is about avoiding any missed opportunities, right? And so you're going to be able to complete the task. You're going to continue to focus, put your effort where you want to see your vision come to fruition. Here you go, the King of Roses. Now we've got some healing going on. All right, so there is love in this situation. There is love and commitment, right? Roses signify commitment. They also signify healing because when we are with others, right, there's always something that we can obtain from one another to like bring future growth and healing in a situation. And the king is the one who balances out through love and purity. It is a union of tender support, right? A happy home, a happy person, there is a soul match coming. If it's not in your life now, this is coming. And the reason I say that is because the Queen of Roses came out first in the beginning of the reading, right? And along your journey and your self-reflection and the work that you're putting in for yourself, the universe is going to align so that the King of Roses can come and the two of you can have this union, okay? It's that match made from heaven, whether it is going to be a marital situation, a contractual agreement, or a work relationship, but it is a commitment between the two of you that balance one another out. And then the voyage begins, so you're going to start setting your course, rolling up your sleeves, doing the work, right? being inspired, having another individual come into your life that's going to continue to inspire you on this journey. And then we set the course. Again, setting the course is about our communication, right? There are people here involved, helping you along the way, giving you direction, right? You are focused. You are focused on where you want to go. Just like Columbus, right? You will have followers and you will have naysayers. But your 
focus is on the horizon for which you're setting your goal, your objective. And the Three of Scrolls is about focusing on that destination, broadening your horizons in your personal and your work relationships, right? This is where it is limitless opportunities. Do you see the rainbow here, okay? Do you see the wind behind these sails? They are in full bloom. So the course, once you set the course, you will be moving forward, okay? You will not give up on yourself. This tenacity is going to invigorate you to keep you moving. All right. This is really good because according to your beliefs, you will reach that level of which you believe. Make sure you pay attention to that. All right. Let's go and ask our angels for some guidance. Thank you so much, angels, for your love and guidance and support during our journey. All right, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please provide us with the loving guidance. As always, we thank you. Woo! I don't know why. I guess all my cards are upside down today. Friendships and union. High five, everybody. All right, so this is what we're talking about. These are my people. These are the ones who get me, right? This is where you get to have, like these supporters here, Okay, this is the, the new relationships that are not only insightful and supportive, but they're loving connections. Do you see the purple here? All right, this is like supporting you and congratulating you along the way. And there's something that you have that you will exude that keep them as a part of you, right? They are good listeners. They're um, people that are open-minded. And they keep you in check, right? So that you can remain honest to build on these relationships. And this is like out with the old, in with the new. Do you see the spirit here? This is magnification of beautiful, new community, big or small, okay? The green and the purple. This is healing. This is loving. This is support. This is solid. Thank you, angels. Divine timing. Okay. For some odd reason, Pisces, why, oh, why do we do that? Right? We're like, but I want it now. I want it now. We're like that little girl in the Willy Wonka movie, you know? Um... And it's all there for the taking, but let's be patient along this way, right? Because our divine timing is where the angels are working this out. So you're going to be learning how to navigate, right? Learning to navigate through these boundaries that you're going to have to set up. When you let go of certain people or things or situations, then, you know, we, we may get tested along the way. And so spirits like, but this isn't what you really want, right? You want this kind of relationship. You want this kind of friendship. So don't force anything. Allow it to come in so that you can feel the difference. And then you have that full knowing and understanding of why this timing had to play a role right, in the sequence of events that's going to take place. And here, your guardian angel. Oh, thank you so much, guardian angel, for coming in, because here, this is where your, these are your physical friends, this is your invisible friend, right, and this is your invisible best friend, somebody that you can always count on as your true companion, Guiding you, loving you, supporting you, regardless of your choices that you make, right? Always ask your guardian angel if there's any hesitancy so that you can watch the timing of something before you step into um, a place of discomfort. You want to give your pause before the cause, okay? So here your guardian angel is asking you to take time daily to speak with him or her, right, and give thanks and allow to receive the help. All right, one more. Oh, yes, clear, cancel, and release. 
People, you're understanding now. This is where clear, cancel, can, delete can be your own thoughts, right? Get out of my head, Bob. This is not working for me. You're trying to, to throw me off course or a person, um, they're showing me somebody ringing the bell and you don't want to answer the door. There's something about, you know what? It's okay if you need to step back and remove things, okay? Remove negative energy. You'll know because your stomach will tell you first. And then from your stomach will go to your head. And then that first thought that comes to your head is where you want to pay attention and listen. How do you want to proceed? Do you want to engage? Do you want to disengage? Do you want to avoid, right? Or do you want to face the fear and take control of the situation? All right, let's go ahead and use our monology. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for joining us in this reading. Can you clarify what energies are around our full moon and how it's going to affect Pisces? Well, we first have this one, which is the waning moon, but this is the message here is what's important because what do you need to release, okay? What do you need to release? Let go. Could be anything, anyone, but really we're working on ourselves now, right? We're not placing blame. We are acknowledging and letting it go back into the universe where it belongs. All right, two more, please. A time of healing. And this is why you have the divine timing, because this full moon is about the healing process. This is the phase where we notice our energy go down because spirit wants you to acknowledge and accept who you are, who you were, and who you're becoming. And in order to do that, we let go first, right? And then we heal. We lick those wounds for as long as we need to. And in addition, when you're licking those wounds, Pay attention to, is this something good that I'm doing through the healing process or am I making matters worse, right? Because there is a place of uh, a release when we, we have to cry, we have to exhale, we have to meditate, right? But we want to focus on all of the good spiritual rituals that work for our highest good and not the bad human behaviors or toxic habits that don't allow us to release and heal. And lastly, a fiery climax approaches. This is the full moon in Aries card, but the fiery climax that approaches is the epiphany of, right? Recognize these when you let go and when you heal, okay, and poof. It's magic. It's like, I get it now. Now I have full control over my emotions. I have acknowledged the way my brain is trying to resolve an issue that there is no solution for because it was something from the past. So it is something that I can move forward through my spiritual self and release to the universe and then I get to refuel, re-energize in the natural world. Okay. If some of that was a little too deep or missed, you know, I, I want you to interpret this in the right way. But however you receive this message, right? Spirit is with you and wants you to process it. All right. Archangel Michael, let's finish off the reading. What guidance do you have for Pisces tonight? or today, depending on where you are in this universe. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for always having our back, supporting us, cutting cords, protecting us, and loving us. Okay, this is the one. Be a light to others. All right, so here you have the power, right? 
And this is a message for you to share your light, shine yourself brightly. So you get to illuminate the darkness that somebody else may be going through, right? So that means that you're the beacon on the beach. You're the light in the lamppost for those hiding in the dark alley. These are all metaphors, but what we're trying to say here is that sometimes people don't see the light within themselves. So you have to be the bulb. You have to be the one to step out and lend a hand, say a kind word, share an experience. Those are all the kinds of things that allow you to make new connections, right? So that people know that we are all connected, <clears throat> excuse me, and that we are all walking on our own path, but have similar experiences that connect us and how we move through them through love and compassion with one another. So this is how others can learn from you. What do you have that you can express in any way, shape, or form to another or a body of people that will become a bigger healing and have that butterfly effect, right? The trickle. It's, it's like that snowball that, you know, starts out small and as it rolls down the hill, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And then everybody is in awe. So there's something here that's going to snowball into something better, more beautiful. And it's from you, you personally. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoy this reading. Again, be very gentle with yourselves during this full moon, okay? It's just good for you. It's meant for you to go through this right now. And then the outcome will be so much greater than what you anticipate, right? Envision yourself in the reality that you're setting forth. Take care, everyone.